That's my name. That's my name. Don't worry about What is up, you guys? We are back with another thrift come thrifting with me except this time it's a little bit more exciting because i have officially moved i now live in san francisco so fortunately there were there will there will no longer be any thrift stores um that i'll be doing in sacramento unless i like visit so actually i'm lying i will be doing it but only when i visit but this time we're gonna try to do the whole san francisco area we're gonna see what that's about i'm not gonna start with the goodwills and all that because i don't live that far like i originally didn't live that far from san francisco and and I would go to the Goodwills here and I never found any luck and that's because obviously all these people will just come in right when it opens and buy the place out and then sell it at their little small stores in San Francisco so what I did is a couple of my co-workers recommended you know thrift stores so shout out to you guys the first one that we're going to is community thrift and apparently every Monday it's like 50% off not every Monday it's like every first Monday and it's called community thrift and it is off Valencia so for those of you that want to know so let's just get on into it. Alright, so on a real note, I really can't be fucking around because I have to pay for my parking here with the stupid little coins, which pisses me off. Which in a way I feel like I should have, you know, community because that would have been good faster. But yeah, we're lucky. I actually got really lucky with where I parked. So yeah, I'm very limited on time got less than two hours but I'm probably gonna put more because there's another thrift store around this area so let's go <laughs> all right so I already messed up because this still open event then there's already so many people in here because it is a 50% but um yeah we're just gonna start with the bags because that's what I found first all right so apparently this is how they do their bags so let's look through these this is actually pretty sick because look at it it's juicy who knows if it's real or fake but it's like different like look at that this is pretty sick you know it's not your classic juicy okay so this was pretty cute by the way i don't know how the prices are okay so it says it's 225 but i'm pretty sure it's 50 percent off because it is monday so but it's the first of every monday so i thought this bag was pretty cute it was nine dollars Here's all the shoes and all of these. These are the first ones that I found. Okay, I'm living over these and they are Stuart Weitzman. Um, only know that brand because of Threads Obsessed. So, um, you know, these are pretty. Um, I'm not digging the heel, but I love this. So I found these really cute, like, cheetah print heels. And except they're really, like, messed up and cut right here. So I think I'm going to pass, but still. They were $5 plus 50% off. Still a steal. I thought these were pretty cute. I don't know, I've never really seen like the buckles were really got me. It doesn't have a back strap and it's like a kind of small kit heel. I don't know, it reminds me of the 90s a lot. I wish this was pink. If this was pink, I would have been all over it. But I'm just not crazy about the color. <laughs> Look at these. These are so witchy. Look at them. So here. Here's another pair of Stuart Weitzman's. These aren't as cute as the first pair, so I'm not even going to try to try them on, but yeah. So even if I'm in a completely different city, I am still finding the plain tracksuits. I'm telling you, they're at every single thrift store, no matter if it's warm or hot. Ah, look at that. I'm actually, hold up, I might get this. So I'm really digging this jacket right here. It is $12 plus the 50%, which is 6 so there, here's this bomb, like long pico, and it's only twelve dollars plus fifty again, sixty percent off. And you know, here's this one too. Like I freaking love these, except this one is short. If this was long, I would totally get it. But yeah, there's a bunch of these jackets like exactly like this. So this is totally not my style, but I thought the detail on this was just wow. So I really wish this was cherries instead of strawberries because I would be all on this. Okay, but how cool is this little like button down top? It matches my shoes, but um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get it because it's like seven dollars plus fifty percent off. Do you see this? And it's so soft. 
but this jacket right here, this plaid, is seriously the cutest thing ever. And it's only $10, plus 50% off, so around five, except when I tried it on. <laughs> It just looked so bad on me like I thought it would fit like way longer and for some reason it's only like right past my butt So I'm gonna skip but seriously guys this place is for the jackets and then on this side right here It's all the leather ones like there's so many vintage leather so if you're really into vintage Style, you know, um, I don't know stuff. But look at this. I'm not fucking around Look at this I kind of want to get it at the same time do I really need it? But still, this is like one of a kind. So, final thoughts on that thrift store. I know I didn't get like any footage, but honestly guys, it was so busy. I got there at 10.20. It opened up at 10, and there was already a line, like huge ass line to check out. So I could already tell that the majority of the shit was picked through. But it's okay, because I still, I still got some goods. I got the cheetah thing. But all I'm saying is, um, yeah, definitely come early. Or if you don't really care about the perfect design off thing, just don't come on Monday, because that shit was ridiculous. But let's try to hit this other gift store and see if we get any luck. This one? Wow, just beautiful. I love seeing this. <laughs> but like, this is my actual heaven. And there's this one. <sighs> wow. They have it all beautifully organized. Oh, the shoes. So the new really nice part is, is if you guys ever watched my last year's video, all the stuff is categorized and they're all one dollar. So I mean not one dollar, all the same price. So like all of these tops are all ten dollars, which is nice because usually at thrift stores these will like can range from like thirty to seriously like fifty or even you know sometimes four dollars. So that's another thing that sucks. But like look, there's so many different kinds and they're all color coded too. They're all like you could seriously probably find like some really good Balmain Versace dupes. And the good thing is they're all pen. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I don't know what this is, but I would totally rock the shit out of this. If I had money to blow, I would buy this. Look at this. Problem is I don't know what I would wear to. Crazy. All the beading on all of these tops. Like, and they're all ten dollars. Like that's insane. Insane. Seriously, if you are for Halloween, it's coming up. This would probably be a really good place as well. Just look at all these. This reminds me of Kris Jenner. I don't even know why, but it just does. <laughs> like, look at this. How gorgeous is this? With the gold, this could seriously be get your statement tops here. Only $10. Crazy. Look at that. That's insane. And as you can see, it's the same thing with the codes. Look at this one, if you guys remember a while back. It's like the same Juicy Couture. It reminds me of the one that I saw a while back. Except this one is um, like soft and not like the raincoat. But this coat right here, look at that. That is a steal. I already have one that looks exactly like this that I actually got for a dollar. But... I'm telling you, this is a good coat for $10. Okay, but this is really cute. Like, this is completely not my style, but I don't know why I'm getting a kick out of it. I swear this video is not just gonna be me walking and talking. Guys, I'm not kidding, I don't know what it is. I just like, I'm in a weird mood, but I just haven't found anything. I mean, I bought, obviously, a couple stuff. I did buy some silk stuff just now, but Maybe it's just the thrift stores, because these are more like vintage based. That thrift store that we just went to was Mission Thrift, and that one was actually really good for like good vintage finds. Not your like everyday. Like, no, I do my thrifting videos and stuff. That's not a video. Like, you're not gonna find stuff in that one, but you will find some really cute vintage pieces. For like $5, $10, when, you know, like usually vintage stuff is like 40 That thrift store is actually really good with their vintage pieces, so. If you're trying to find that type of like clothing item, definitely check that one out. But I think I'm gonna try to get one more thrift store and I'm gonna try to do like something basic like a Goodwill so I can find just like 
out on a regular find, like not so much vintage -y. So, let's just do that. But like, not even gonna lie, this is the nicest Goodwill I've ever been to. I think it's because it's like not technically a Goodwill, like the original, it's a Goodwill boutique. It's officially over, it's done, it's canceled. I walked in and this is the first thing I saw. We got some, you know, juicy. I have this one actually, but in small one, it's black. It's the same print. And this bag right here, look at it. Kind of cool. I just love how small it is. Very sex in the city. This is like OG original Kate's food. Also, not a total Michael Kors fan, but these are really cute. I am living for these color blocks, like this color block, black and white. Can we please look at these? Oh my god. They are like $35, but they're scuffed. If they weren't scuffed, I would totally pay $35. So I found this, like sweater type. You guys know my obsession with BB. Look at this. It's like it cleans on my hair. I mean, it is pretty expensive, but it's so soft. So this is a really cute one, but why? Here is another one, but this one's actually cheaper. Alright, so I saw this pink, like, fuzzy sweater from like a mile away just sitting on a rack and of course. Of course. Why would this only me? Only me. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Only $45. Honestly, this is not gonna fit me, but I would 100% buy this. Do you see this? So much Burberry. So much. You got your classic ones. Um, yeah, someone yelled at me last time for not getting this, and I found the exact same jacket, but it's <laughs> more expensive at this Goodwill. So, wow. Remember when I found this study good thrift? No, a nice true religion denim jacket, if you're into that. Oh my god, no way. Wow, found another one like I always do. Okay, but this is actually super cute because it's not the fur. Okay, so this is how this one fits. I'm a little upset because it is $15 and it's kind of tight. But, I don't know, look how cute it is. But this pink Zara's coat is like, wow. Okay, but these are legit the coolest shoes I've ever seen. Look at that. All these shoes are so cool. Like, look at these. There's these. And there's these. And then these. There's just so many cute shoes. Okay, these are kind of ugly, but you know. But this is so sick. Look at it. It reminds me of flames. It's so soft. Some Patagonia. Okay, I can't even control myself right now. I'm not even gonna lie. That was legit the best Google I have ever been to, into in my whole entire life. If anybody wants to know where it's located, it's West Portal, and it's actually called Google Boutique. So, a little I think tight on exactly that. Thing. So everything there is pretty much kind of brand new and designer, and it's what designers would have probably like priced it like very low like the lowest that they would ever price it and um from what the guy was telling me like a lot of for example macy's and bloomingdale's like when they want to get oh, it's really raining right now <laughs> when they want to get rid of stuff they will send it they'll donate it to that group of, so i thought that was really cool because I don't know. I definitely did not have that at all. So yes, that goodwill is expensive. I know you guys are already gonna comment being like, that goodwill is so expensive. Are you serious? Oh my god, I'm out of breath. But it's because it's not a regular goodwill. It is like kind of a designer goodwill, so they have really nice stuff like Christian Dior, Prada, like you guys saw. And 
and if you're heavy into branding, like you're a brand or you love that stuff, I know I am, go shop at your local Goodwill boutique because it's cheap for high-end freaking brands like, you know, Burberry, Dior, Versace, all of those. And yeah, so I think I'm just going to end it at this one. I didn't show everything in that Goodwill just because <clears throat> my meter is going to expire. So I will for sure show you guys I'm going to that Goodwill 100% um, later on down the line. And I will definitely venture out on my Goodwills. I think I'm just going to stick to my Goodwills because that's what I know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'm sorry that this video <laughs> wasn't that exciting. Bye.